Jake's a zombie gaming. Um, the goldfish. What is that? That looks like a fly. It doesn't look like any of these are a goldfish. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Died? <laughs> Surrounded by her loved ones in a fire? Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> a bug? <laughs> I can just kind of picture that in real life. Yeah, after the bug. <laughs> I'm just picturing a pug, just like... <laughs> or like one of those Bojack Horseman humanoid animals. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic <laughs> novel? Talk about crazy. I don't think she knows what an erotic novel is. This is obviously a cat. This is obviously it's a cat. Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Guy dies eating food. Ah, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. Never saw the window coming. Nah, oh, fish. I don't think so. I'll keep looking. But, but humans? <laughs> it says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Mr. Bubbles sounds like a fish name. Or a clown. Oh, do we risk this being a clown? Screw it, yeah. Let's give it a go. Congratulations, All right. Fortune. You found the prize. I did it! Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Eternal happiness. I stole your eternal happiness, Benjamin. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. He didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox. And get your happiness back. Like I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. I feel like this is the, uh... I feel like this is the narrator. Look, they're here. Doing this. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. These little clips into this horror realm are interesting. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? <sighs> Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. So maybe this narrator guy targets these kids that have these obviously not good lives. Like, her parents are fighting, she's definitely abused, she's uh, both emotionally and something. Uh, emotionally and physically. Uh, so, Benjamin is probably also placing. I, I think that's what we caught him doing. I think he was placing them. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. What's that? Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. 
I I'm think telling you're right. you. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Oh, we probably... Can I'll we... put it back. Okay. I was gonna say, can we put it back for a second so we can read it? The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. That... That's dark! So the game of death feeds the darkness from beyond. He might be cons the narrator might be that darkness from beyond. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Just fell down. Oh, she's gonna end up on her face again. Yep. <laughs> I hate to laugh at that, but oh, it's so funny when they... That's a big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Well, at the beginning of the game, they said something along the lines of There is no right and wrong. There is only consequence. And right now, we're definitely we're seeing that consequence. Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. I like these little cutscenes, or not cut- well, I mean, I guess they are cutscenes as well, but like, the cutscenes in the actual pictures, where they're actually drawn in, these look great. Like, it's a very oh, unique damn. style, but it's I good. It. Oh. oh, damn, I dropped it. Oh, this little girl. Fox repellent? Love it. Best. 10 out of 10. Get it now. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. <laughs> I can't deny the bottle sweet style. Oh. Did look pretty dope, didn't it? Oh, there you are. What are you doing, Benjamin? Use the fox repellent on Benjamin? I'm gonna go with no, because 10 out of 10 dentists recommend. <laughs> Impossible. One's always got to be a prick. Um, I think I'm gonna go with no, because I don't think Benjamin's a bad guy. Fingers crossed. Benjamin! Oh. What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? Hey, you talking shit! Uh, She's a little girl. Oh, Jesus. She always wakes up in a puddle of her own vomit. You're alive and well. That's great. Yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See? I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay. I'll just hang around. I go that way? No. Maybe the narrator is in her head. That would make sense. He's just playing the audio. That could be, yeah. Oh, what do we got here? Local artist GM retires after incident. My son is missing. Oh. Let's see what's new. That was George. Let's see what's new. 
bird invasion. We didn't win, but we had fun. Sports. <laughs> you know, that's the way you should take it, though, is... You're playing to have fun, not not to oh, win. The soup, you know, with the animals? You know, with the animals? Emu war? I actually made a quick Google search. I found out that the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. So this might be looking too far into it. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking the adults all wear masks because it's like saying that like they always have to have like this set persona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the internet is probably from hell if we're being honest. <laughs> You seen some of the stuff that gets posted there? Um, uh, but yeah, I'm thinking that it's like the only real emotion that we're seeing in this game is from the little girl or the other children or whatever. I mean, not that we really see other children other than the ghosts, but I'm thinking that she's really only one showing like genuine emotions. And that these adults always have to put on, like, a facade of some sort. Whether it's happy or sad or just like, hey, I'm doing great. It looks like all these are pretty much happy, though. Which is also kind of a sad, like, statement. <laughs> There's so much stuff. There's so many weird things on the internet. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Yeah, Did straight up Satan. I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, let's just keep going then. Straight up Satan. Oh, oh. Hi. Another you look ghost. Familiar. What? Yeah, let's check out the posters. Miss, um, wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. <laughs> He's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. We just saw her ghost. She's not turning up anywhere. And yeah, he was just trying to show, like, yeah, I could crush you, little girl. But I'm not gonna. Ah, oh, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. <laughs> it's, it's good that she feels that that's juice. Like, I'm glad that she doesn't know really what's going on in some senses, because, like, this would be heavily affecting her. Mommy brings me here all the time. I it's see you're Italian too. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hacks strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. While she hugs strangers by the dumpster. But why would you send a little girl to buy cigarettes? Oh, his mask is damaged. His wallet. What do you want to do? Return it, of course. You gotta do the right thing. Wait, sir. You dropped your wallet. Uh, his mask isn't smiling, either. Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Uh, no win. Maybe next time. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. Wow! <laughs> Every time you think these parents are terrible, something worse comes up. Happy face. It says... Let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't oh, seen him for a while, though. You can sparkle the door when she told the story. Oh, I can? Did I miss that? Oh, good call! Haha, <laughs> the little raccoon. Can I sparkle this one? No. Oh, hey, it's the guy! Oh. Oh, man. Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Just starting to smell mysterious. Starting? Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, Mr. Voice is I the man behind the slider. I believe I that. Do. do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that that's the case, too. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved, and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> Didn't have to, like, five kids? Yeah, and that's not even including Little Miss Fortune. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe She's you need a bus eight. ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. Yeah, more or less. He's, he's Satan, man. Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Check this out. That street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dick. Miss Fortune. <laughs> yeah, like 20 million years old. Hey, hello? Why did you take me to the sky with your friends? So you know, because of you, I can make to the party. Oh, okay. Uh, can I go further? No, that's it. Alright, so we wait, I guess. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can <laughs> Not imagine. the blacking out and waking up in your own feet. vomit? <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. I'm a little lady. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Aww. Would you like to have a mask like that? Uh, maybe. I she don't still know. has the mints. Yeah, I guess. Mints. <laughs> Free of regrets, free of self-doubt, free of harm. Hmm. Happy face. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, from you Japan. know. He's always saying, 
ければどこだすか。<laughs> You're really funny, Miss Fortune. I wonder what that means. No such thing as ghosts. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. Oh, that's so cute. Something bad's gonna happen to these cows, I know it. <laughs> I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. <laughs> if you've made it this far, that means you've watched until the end of the video. So thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to like it by giving it a thumbs up and commenting what you liked about it or what you'd like to see more of. And absolutely, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell icon so you can join the Horde and be notified anytime I post any other videos. Thank you Horde members so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!